Hey ladies, this is Sarah Briggs with the Diva Squad and I wanted to do a quick training video for you to show you how you can utilize Media Center. So I'm on screen share right now um, so that you can see exactly what I'm doing instead of me just kind of trying to tell you how to do it. Media Center is one of those things that it seems really, really complicated and hard work and not user friendly, but in all reality, it really, really is all of those things. Um, user friendly, easy to use, quick, simple, and I love it. And I hate technology. So for me to say that, that has got to mean something. So when you are on your CO, you want to know what this looks like. You're going to go down to where it says Media Center. You click the Media Center button. It brings you to an overview. You click here to enter the Media Center. So this is going to pop up. Um, I'm doing this from a laptop. I've, I'll be honest with you, I've never done anything with Media Center from my phone. So I'm not really sure how user friendly that would be for you. But I can tell you from a computer, it is super friendly. So this is your home screen that you see when you go to Media Center. Across the top here, you'll see the library, all your contacts, party billion, billing, blah, blah, blah. Um, down here, it's going to give you different categories of what you can search for, depending on what you're looking to do with it. Across the middle here, if you need to edit your profile, and you want to send something about a kit special, it's just more um, broken down into categories. And then always right here, you will see where it says new content. So this is the newest stuff that they've added to Media Center. We'll always show there. The featured stuff, obviously, it's February, Valentine's Day is coming up. So that's where they're going to put that type of stuff. And you can scroll over with each of these right so they let you kind of see everything all together and then trending text items these are things that apparently must be a lot of people are using and then the stuff down there we don't care care about so much so when i'm using media center i always go up here to the library to see what's out there because it lets you see everything all at once um i've looked for things in the past over here under these categories and I was looking under a category where I thought it should have been and it wasn't there. So I have found that it's just easier for me just to look at everything in, as a whole and then find what I'm looking for. So one thing I want to point out on each of these, so where it says SMS texting, this image right here, if you were to click this, it is for a text message. It's not something you're going to be able to add all your clients email addresses to. The social, social image, this is something you would like right click and save to your computer and then post it on Facebook or Instagram. Again, not something you're gonna be able to send to your clients. E-card, that is something you're gonna be able to add in email addresses and forward out. Invite, that is something, if I were to click on it, you would see that it's for like a party invite, whether you're doing like an open house at your own house, um, a party for a hostess and so on. Um, event cover. Facebook. So these are already images. Again, you're not sending them to anybody. They're just sized, ready to be saved and uploaded to your social media. Now, if you don't like the, doing it this way, looking through each one and seeing what it is, you can always go over here to type and it will show you. You can narrow it down. So if you are truly only looking for something to send via a text message, which again, we're not gonna be doing this, but you can click texting and it's gonna show you everything and they're listed from the newest to the oldest, all the way across, up and down. So you can go way far back, like a party is brewing. That was October stuff, right? So they don't really get rid of stuff from here. Um, so it's really cool to go in here and use stuff that you don't find that's necessarily new, which is awesome. Um, so we're gonna get rid of texting and you can see here, if you need a different language, if you are Puerto Rico, that sort of thing, we want to get rid of texting because that's going to narrow down our search. So all these things here are your search filters. So we just literally, I like to see what is in English for my country and I want to see what is new. So all this stuff is the new stuff. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to pull up this e-card. Um, I should have waited. I sent out a media center blast last night and I should have waited and done it today with all of you, but I was not thinking. So let's move my face out of the way here. So this is the screen that's going to pop up for you. If this screen does not pop up for you, when you click something, you might have your pop-ups blocked on your device. So make sure that that's not happening. Um, just to give you a summary, it's going to tell you like the topic, the type, all this stuff you don't need to really worry about. I try to always like skim the, the thing right here because I want to make sure that before I actually start doing anything with it, that is really what I want to do. So this one's just, hi, sweetheart, blah, 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 swept off your feet. 
income you control, contact me today to join my team. So this is something for joining my team. So if I was looking for something for hosting a party, I would back out of here by simply just clicking this X and being like, oh, nope, don't want to be sending that out. That's not what I'm looking for. But we're going to pretend today I was here looking to send out something for people to take advantage of this kit sale. So once you know that this is what you want to use, all you do is click this click get started box. And it brings up this box for you to save it. So it is totally up to you what you want to call this um, project, let's call it that. I personally will always call it today's date, month, date, and year, um, just so that this is when I know I sent it, which makes it really easy for me personally to look back and be like, oh, I haven't sent anything since January 29th. Like, I should probably send something. So I just always label it with the date. And I always try to mix up what I'm sending. A little bit of team building, a little bit of newsletter, that sort of thing. Um, so this is what's going to happen. It's going to load in and it's going to show you up here. This is where your save box would be. And it's going to tell you additional editing is required before you can send it. That means you have to do something with it. It's not ready to go. Um, so I always leave it here on this customized tab. The subject line, better than roses, a new career. Like you could add in here like with pure romance. Okay, so you can make it personal here. I used to always put like my name up there and you're gonna see every time you do something, it pops up in that little green box that says it's saving. So now you have to scroll through so you can see, oh, apparently, oh, no, just kidding. <laughs> we don't wanna do that. No, no, no. Okay, get rid of that. Um, normally you don't click that box, so pretend like we didn't do that, okay? Um, <laughs> so you're gonna scroll through and hi, sweetheart, who better this year, blah, blah, blah. So we already know what it says, right? So this, wherever you see a yellow exclamation point, that is what you need to edit before this up here is gonna pop up to say save. So all you do is click on it and you type what you want it to say. So I'm gonna say, join my team by February 10th and get an extra special gift from me. All right, so I wanted to say that, but I want this to like stand out. So I'm gonna make it bold. I'm gonna make it italic. It's already centered, but maybe I want it to the left, to the right, right? So I wanna do that. I'm sure all these other little buttons do fun things, like you can add bullets, you can put in, you can do spell check, all this good stuff, right? But this is all I want it to say from me. So notice again, oh, I'm pointing, like you can see where I'm pointing. It set up here saving and now you have all these boxes. So remember that, but let's just scroll down. Now you notice there's a green check mark because it edited what it wanted you to edit. And at the very bottom, you're gonna see that it's gonna have your contact info. You can customize all this info down here at the very bottom. I highly encourage you to put a photo there. If you don't have a photo there, it just takes away from the personalization. So put a picture of yourself there. I try to use the same photo across all my marketing just because it's becoming a brand for me. Um, but I also give my website, all my contact info, and then you can edit under your settings here in Media Center what you're part of. So if you had a Twitter or anything like that, you could put the, your contact down there. And then up here, you're gonna see, this is how you would send it through email, if you wanna put it on Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. So to send an email, because that's all I ever do, I've never personally done any one of those other links. I just click the envelope for email and then it's going to bring you to the screen and everyone freaks out on the screen. They freak out because they see zero recipients and they're like, how do I even do this? I'm not entering everybody's information. Well, you don't have to. All you have to do is click advanced contact search and it's going to think for a minute. And I clicked the wrong thing. See, I don't even know where to go. You're going to go simple contact search. Okay. I knew it was one of them. You go to simple contact search. You're going to notice right here, it's bringing up your address book. It's going to bring up all these contacts. All I do is I click this box. The box over here on the left, that is select all. I'm not personally going through picking individual people that I send these things to. When I personally use Media Center, I send it to everybody who I have an email address for. And it's going to take a hot minute, but now you're going to see down here, it is going to say you have 300 or 3,842 contacts that I have selected. You would go to add selected. And then what it's going to do is up here, it says contacts were added successfully. And I'm not gonna click it because I don't wanna send it, but you would then just click send now down here on the bottom. Send now instantly just sends it out to those 3000 people that I have in my address book. Now, if let's say you're doing this at 2 a.m. and you don't necessarily wanna send the email at 2 a.m. because I don't suggest doing that, you could click the schedule button 
and it lets you pick the date and time. So this is great if you're a planner and you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm power blocking 15 minutes for my marketing and you want to plan out the entire month's worth of media center, you can pre-schedule everything. So if you want to send something out every week, every Monday, you can bang it all out in 15 minutes. I mean, you saw how quick I just did that, right? Like this does not have to take you a lot of time. If this is taking you way more than 20 minutes, the first time you do it, you're doing too much. You're overcomplicating it, right? So you would normally just hit send and it would disappear and it would say, boom, it's been sent. And that is it. That is all you have to do to use Media Center. Bam, super simple, right? But let's talk about this really quick. So um, where is it? This is where sometimes it's better to narrow it down. Oh, here we go. So a newsletter. I love the customer newsletters um, because they're all done for you. The process is the same. At, no matter what you're sending it, as you can see, it's a newsletter. It's gonna bring up the summary. You're gonna click get started. I've used this template before because I used it last month because this is January's newsletter. Um, but we're just gonna pretend we're doing another one because what you can do is you can keep using these. So I can go, I'll show you this after. You can go back into stuff you already sent and resend it to new people, which is really, really cool because who wants to reinvent the wheel, right? Um, so when you go into this newsletter, it's the same format. Like everything has a check mark if it's good. And nothing on here is saying you can't send it. So you, I highly suggest reading the newsletters so you know what's in them. Um, but you don't have to change anything if you don't want to. What I like to do is I'll go in and you can change this if you want, if like, if you were like, um, I don't know, Monday, March Madness Monday something. You could change the name of this basically. New Year, new products. If you want to change that, anything that has a check mark next to it, you can change. You can change the photo. Um, so you can click through, and a lot of times they'll have more than one. But if they don't, you can always upload something. So if you want to put your own photo in there, um, Valentine's Day again, you want you're like oh, I don't really like that picture. Go ahead and click it, and you can find a different picture. And all you have to do is be like, bam, click to select. I want this one instead. And it's gonna automatically just update it for you. So again, put your own photo in there. If you wanted something different to show there, um, I'm looking at this single and fabulous, and I'm like, oh God, I don't wanna send that out. You can come over here to the left, you can click it. Anything that has a check mark next to it over here is gonna be included. Anything that doesn't have a check mark, it won't be there. So you still can customize. Now let's pretend, um, say goodbye to those Monday blues, this article, take your Mondays back, join Pure Romance today. And I'm like, you know what? I love that they just said there. I'm gonna say, join my team today and get 200 bucks. Ooh, they're 200 bucks. Have fun with that be cash, right? So you can put whatever you want there and it's gonna save it. So every time you go to something and change it, it saves it and tells you when it's ready to go, all right? One thing I love about Media Center is I will click my article, one, my article two, not about Media Center, sorry, about the newsletter. So I do my article one, my article two, and it's a generic basic placeholder, as you can see. So there's one and there's two. So what I'll do here is I will go through, and so these are things that I have uploaded in the past. Um, so I used this one last month to promote March parties. So I want to use this one again, just to show you guys how quick this can be. I've already uploaded this. So that's why it's in there. Um, and there we go. Click off of here. It puts it right in there for me. So then what I had done is I had like a little thing up here. I can just show you what I did actually, but you can customize this. So I will put in here like, hey, I need party bookings. These are the dates I have. So let's just close out of here because I'm deciding I'm not gonna sell that, send that. So I'm just gonna X out of it. I just went from the master library to my library and the my library is all stuff that I have sent out. So where did it go? Here it is. This is something I've already sent. So let's pretend I meet, I met, I sent this out on January 1st and I want to send it again. I'm going to, oops, not do that. Da, 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 da. I think, I think I can edit it. Nope, that just wants me to send it. So let's go here, info, sorry guys. Should look at this ahead of time. Um, copy edit details activity. Before I used to be able to just click on it and pull it up 
I might have changed that. That's been a long time since I went back in and looked, but you can see on here, I use the March thing for booking incentives and I was at a bridal expo. So this down here that you can't really see from this view, but bottom left corner, that was all the information on the bridal expo that I was at, the details, the date, the location, what was there, everything. Um, so what's really cool with Media Center, so after you send your stuff, you can go where I just showed you and you can go to activity. And what you can do is this will show you, and this is something I suggest you just play around with on your own. I don't really utilize this very much, um, but it will show you, okay, so out of the 3,700 emails that went out, 254 people clicked it, um, something in the, um, oh no, just kidding, 339 viewed it, and 21 people clicked it. So it will show you like a trend of the date and how many people, and then you can go down further, and it will actually break down. So here we go. I had 3,100 people get it. Eight people looked at it. One person clicked it. 2, 0.2 bounced. Um, 0.25 opted out and 0.3 went into the spam inboxes from people. Um, so what's cool with this is you can see like what got the most clicks down here. Um, you can also look to see who viewed it who clicked on something, who did it bounce from, who opted out, and who marked it as spam. The marking as spam is always fun, um, but it also shows that they opted out too. So this is good because now you can see, like, okay, all these people bumped out, um, but they're not really the ones that really matter to you. The ones that matter are the ones that clicked on something. So you could utilize this. So let's pretend this was a, um, join my team one, you could go through and you could go back and you could contact each of these people individually and say like, oh my gosh, you, you know, you clicked my email about joining my team. Did you have any questions you want to talk more about it? So you can really utilize that to your advantage. Now to go back and just wait, I've had too much coffee today in case you can't tell. Um, you can go here, I believe it's billing. Nope, just kidding. We don't need to go there. Yes. Get rid of my face. There we go. Um, you can here. I'm trying to find profile. There you go. So you click your name, you go to profile, and this is where you can change anything that you want to change. Um, over here, you could add like if you had Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, all of that. So this is the tab where you can upload your photo, make sure all your stuff is there and just really personalize it for yourself. So that is my how to use Media Center. I hope you found it helpful. I hope it makes sense. If you still have further questions, let me know and we can talk more about it. But that is your Media Center training and enjoy.